Courses in the Cement Industry Present to you Courses in the Cement Industry Friends We will explain in several episodes, the cement raw vertical mill area maintenance. This course explain How to adjust the dam ring of a vertical mill First episode A brief introduction about the dam ring Is used for grinding table, on vertical raw mills or in vertical cement mill It is key component for vertical mill The grinding roller dam ring, could control the material flow leaving the grinding zone, for vertical mill by controlling the material bed thickness Initially, this video shows the dam ring in two different types of vertical roller mills. 1. Jephir Pfeffer Mills, type MPS. 2. Losk Mills, type LM, 46.4 What is dam ring? The dam ring is an important device, for optimizing the performance of a vertical mill. It is used to adjust the height of the material bed, in the vertical mill, which directly affects the grinding efficiency. A low material bed height, will promote more efficient grinding, but generally the lower the material bed, height the higher the vibration. The latter is due to a reduced cushioning effect, by the bed upon the grinding forces. Therefore the optimum bed depth, is the lowest possible, but still maintaining a safe level of mill vibration. Together we follow the definition. What is dam ring? Normally the dam ring is adjusted, to compensate for wear of the grinding elements, with the objective of maintaining optimum performance, throughout the life of the liners. Occasionally, adjustment of the dam ring may be necessary, for other reasons than wear, such as significant changes in material properties, or a modification of the vertical mill, such as a new separator, but still with the same objective of optimizing the mill efficiency, by changing the bed depth in the mill. What is the function of dam ring? It can stabilize the vertical roller mill, material dam ring. Material thickness can be adjusted to adjust the height of dam, retaining ring material vertical mill, is a key component. Its role is to maintain, a certain level of material grinder, where ring gauge affects, the stable operation of the mill. How can we calculate dam ring, height in vertical roller mill? Dam ring height in vertical roller mill, depends on retention time of material on table. Which is indicate by mill vibration, and accepting grinding force, with respect to main drive load. It is adjusted on the basic of grinding process. Normally it's kept 2%, of table diameter. But material is too fine in vertical roller mill, will more than 2%, 2.2 .2 to 2.5%. Prerequisites Ability to adjust dam ring, usually it is increased by welding rolled steel bar, or reduced by cutting, off the required amount. Alternatively some mills are fitted, with dam rings made of several layers, of steel bars that are bolted to the table. Adjustment is by adding or removing, the appropriate number of bars, that equal the desired change in height. Reliable measurement of material bed depth. Best results have been achieved, with roller and string and ultrasonic methods, to continuously measure the extension, of all of the hydraulic cylinders. Know the normal bed depth, usually in the range 50, to 80 mm. We follow together. Prerequisites. 
Know the normal safe operating level, 4 mil vibration, the actual level depends upon the location, of the vibration monitor. Lafarge standard is to measure the vertical vibration, on the gearbox casing at the input shaft. At this point expect normal vibration level 2, or 3 mm per second. Cross check mill feed rate calibration, ideally with a truck way off, or belt way off, but with silo levels as a minimum. Ensure the hydraulic accumulators are properly charged, with nitrogen and are free from any leaks. Time frame A single adjustment of a dam ring, can take 8 hours, therefore changes need to be well planned. Frequency of adjustment normally depends upon, the wear rate of the mill liners. In some mills, with liners having high wear rate, more than 8,000, hours lifetime, it may be necessary to adjust the dam ring, every 2, or 3, months in other mills with higher lifetimes annual adjustment may be sufficient. Conduct checks on a new table. 1. Check table and roller profile, are correct and roller positioning, on the track is correct. 2. Check the dam ring height, is the same as for the previous new table. 3. Check that the dam ring has been placed, on the same diameter of the table as previously. 4. Recalibrate bed depth monitors. 5. A dam ring placed on a smaller diameter, even only a few centimeters smaller, will increase bed depth to a greater, extent than one of the same height, placed at the edge of the table. 6. Try to avoid changing the dam ring position, on the table diameter, since it will change all your previous reference points. Observe initial operation. After stabilizing the mill operation, observe the performance, for about one week. In particular, pay special attention to the relative levels of 1. Mill rejects 2. Mill pressure loss 3. Vibration 4. Bed depth 5. Mill power any difficulties with reaching nominal capacity, and or reaching normal grinding pressure. The performance of a new table, with new rollers will differ, from that of a new table, with worn rollers. Therefore some change in dam ring height, from the normal starting level, may be required. Adjust the initial dam ring. If the mill tends to have a high level of rejects, and high pressure loss, with a lower than normal bed depth, and higher vibration, it indicates that the dam ring is too low. The mill drive power will also be low. In this case plan to increase the dam ring height, by 10 to 20 mm. On the contrary if the rejects are low, the pressure loss is low, mill power high, bed depth high and vibration low, it indicates the dam ring is too high. We follow together. Adjust the initial dam ring. In this second case plan to reduce the dam ring, by 10, to 20 mm, on the next maintenance day. It is not a straight relationship between, dam ring height, and bed depth, since the bed depth also depends upon, other factors such as material properties, water injection, relative profile of rollers and table, so the adjustment has to be done, by trial and error. Continue tracking the mill performance, and make further adjustment if necessary, to bring the mill parameters, back into the optimum range. Adjust dam ring to account of track, and roller wear. Monitor the wear of the table, and roller liners, by measurement of their profile, at regular intervals. If the lifetime of the liners is one year, then aim to measure the liners at least monthly, if their lifetime is two years, then aim to measure at least two monthly. It is also important to regularly, recalibrate the bed depth monitors, 
to account for the wear, of the rollers and track. It is convenient to do this at the same frequency, as the wear measurement. It is necessary to follow the wear, and its impact upon the mill performance, to determine when it may be necessary, to adjust the dam ring again. We follow together. Adjust dam ring to account of track, and roller wear. In the same way as mentioned above, observing the level of rejects, mill pressure loss, mill power, bed depth, and vibration. However, it is usually the case that as the track wears, it is necessary to reduce dam ring height, to avoid excessive bed depth. During the latter stages of the life, of the liners it is sometimes necessary, to increase dam ring and sacrifice mill efficiency, to keep vibration under control. This is because of uneven wear, of the rollers and track causing high, and low points in the material bed, which need a deeper bed to limit vibration. Building up a history by recording, of the changes to dam ring height against the wear, of the track along with mill running hours, production, and operating parameters, will make it easier to decide on adjustments, for the next set of liners. Bed depth measurement. Bed depth can be measured in two ways. 1. Roller and string method. 2. Ultrasonic distance measurement. There is high wear and deformation, in the dam ring segments. Recommendation. Replace the dam ring segments, with a new one. Action has been taken. The defected dam ring, has been replaced. Thank you for watching, and I hope these courses are helpful to everyone. Subscribing to this channel Cement Industry Courses would be appreciated. Thank you.